hey, uh, filmmaker, can I get a few more random shots of bullshit that don't include skateboarding? Thanks in advance. What is going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Ninja Review, the series where I review videos submitted to me by you guys, the people. Today we have two park videos. I'm not sure if either of them are good or bad, but one thing I do remember is each video had a pretty good hard flip in it. And I don't know about you guys, but hard flip is one of my favorite flip tricks to watch. So let's jump right into it on this first video. NYC LES skate edit with the homies. DJ Dream Skate Episode 1. Ghetto Bird starting it off. Also one of my favorite tricks to watch. We got, maybe you'd call that a front blunt crail or something like that. Regardless, a hand grab for no reason. Back tail. Is it really a back tail if you're going straight on? I don't know. Back tail shove. So far, things are looking good about this video. Uh, all these New York skate parks, they have this like ghetto theme. Perfect fucking hard flip. They all look super ghetto, unless this is a New York park too. Because I don't see like graffiti everywhere. But I do see some guy dressed as a farmer. Probably far away from a farm. I remember when I was like maybe 10. I saw an episode of My Brother and Me. If uh, you guys are curious how old I am. And in one of the episodes, the guy had overalls and I wanted to have them. But then I became not an idiot and decided that was a dumb idea. In fact, I think my parents were like, no, you're not going to dress like an idiot. Which, uh didn't hold for very long because later in life I continued to dress like an idiot. Uh, a Tic Tac and I wouldn't even call that a real manual because the back wheels and maybe the tail hit and then right here a little loss of complete loss of control big flip flat ground probably fell right there that guy probably fell. This video took a huge turn because oh that's right it's the homies. Okay so there's like one good homie and the rest are all beginner skaters, because at the beginning I didn't know that. I forgot that it was going to be more than one skater. This is one of the other homies. Front grind down. See, I don't know what about it. I think it's just the graffiti. And maybe the weather that makes these parks look extra fucking ghetto. Everything looks like it's cracked and bumpy, and there was maybe a heel drag right there. This is a bad display of transition skills. We got a wally going. What's next? Front nose to fakes. Looks like that was the entire video. I was entertained for the entire video, but not by the skill. I think it was just the idea that tricks were back to back to back to back. Not so much filming of the sky or filming bushes or filming bullshit. Things like that seem to just make the video go by. So I don't have any real complaints about this as far as skateboarding goes. It seems like my biggest complaint, as always, is that somebody was wearing something that I deem to be weird. So it's nice to know that not very much has changed in Ninja Review. He doesn't actually watch the videos. He just laughs at people's clothes like an idiot. Next video is called It's All a Dream. We're going to go ahead and hit play. We're filming the fence. More graffiti. I like it. Street art, if you will. You know what's not street art? Is uh, just filming bullshit instead of skateboarding. This video is two minutes and seven seconds long. We're about to get to the 20 second mark. So 10% of this video is not skating. That's awesome. He's rolling up. That wasn't even a trick. So basically, I imagine that was a cool trick. Front lip 501. Oh, deja vu. Show the exact same trick twice hey uh filmmaker can i get a few more random shots of bullshit that don't include skateboarding thanks in advance we had a front tail shove flat ground shove push twine yeah yeah that was it the entire line was a flat ground shove are you fucking kidding me okay now the skater here we have a lot more skill obviously than the first video yet it it seems like in some weird way that it's less watchable because we're kind of doing too much, right? There's a time and place to be artsy, and when you're just hanging out, there was a good hard flip right there. I think he wins based just off that hard flip. There's a time and place for artsy. What is driving through a tunnel and a sad face and looking at the camera and showing this guy roll up for a long time? Please explain to me how that highlights his skateboarding in any way. I get it. 
You just got After Effects. You want to try to do something artsy. Maybe you just saw Independence Day or Minions just came out. What's the big new movie that came out? Avengers? Maybe you just saw that and you want to make a fucking Steven Spielberg feature film. So why ruin the skill of the skater just for your own selfish bullshit? Terrible editing, by the way. This kid's doing everything perfect, great tricks, and the video could easily be a much better and more watchable video without all the bullshit filler and the high fives and the graffiti and the filming of the grip tape and oh, he's setting up a skateboard. Do you fucking think you're the first person to ever think of anything in this video? Oh, I'm gonna film the guy set up the skateboard. Then I'm gonna film him looking into the distance. Then I'm gonna film him rolling up to the spot. Then I'm gonna cut to him doing the trick. Then I'm gonna do a time lapse of the sun going down. It's, among other things, wildly uncreative in my opinion, but I would like to hear your guys' opinions because as far as the steez, as far as the tricks, as far as the skill, this video blew the last video out of the water and it was a very, very enjoyable video. Up until the editor tried to do way too much. Sometimes I wonder if I only see these things because I'm trying to be a critic or if when you guys watch a video, do you guys also get this feeling of like, hey, this is way too overdone. I've already seen fully flared, and even half the shit in that has already been done a thousand times. So what the fuck are we doing here in 2019? Think about it. I even mentioned that the time went by really fast in the first video, despite it only being eight seconds shorter. And there's something about time flying when you're having fun versus time doesn't fly when you're literally just watching time go all you're doing is watching a guy set up a skateboard that's not entertaining ever in fact it's a waste of time because i feel like you took 52 seconds worth of skateboarding and pushed it out into two minutes it's like a big lame run-on sentence and i feel like back in english class they would have dinged me for that they would have turned what could have been an a into a fucking c in my opinion it looks like this guy's trying to get back home to Kansas, clicking these heels together. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to go and watch either of these videos with audio, because maybe the audio makes it better, I pretty much guarantee that it doesn't. But just in case, a link to both videos will be in the description below. If you want to be featured in an episode of Ninja Review. All you have to do is send me an HD YouTube video link. Find me on Facebook and send me a message. Include the link and I will get back to you. Still quite a few people not sure what HD means. Funny, right? So weird. Maybe I've never talked about it before. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. I apologize. I've been sick this week, so I'm not going to act all crazy on camera right now because I have a headache. My throat is sore and I'm screaming at a camera and it's not making me feel any better at all. So I hope you guys appreciate the sacrifice. Make sure to subscribe. Maybe tell a friend about the channel if I make you laugh every once in a while. And I will see you guys tomorrow with another Ninja Lifestyle video because we upload four, sometimes even five, five videos per week here. I'll see you guys next time. Kuna Matata, bitches.